Saw, dude. Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope that you are having a fantastic day. Um, I am going to do my final Sayla Brooks update, I believe. Now, just kind of as a refresher, this case does involve some talks of SA and, you know, things of that nature, I guess. So if that is something that's triggering to you, definitely don't watch this video. I'm not like gonna go into in depth or anything, but it just, it is something that will be mentioned. So if, like I said, that's something that triggers you, don't watch this video. But other than that, I think we'll just jump right into it. So a few months ago, Sayla Brooks, a TikTok creator, was accused of SAing a girl that came forward and she talked about it. And then a couple of more women came forward and they also talked about it. Um, if you guys don't know what I'm referencing, go back and watch my Sayla Brooks videos that I have uploaded. I explained the whole thing, but this is basically gonna be my final update, I think. After Sayla posted her apology video, she took it down and then she was like radio silent for a long time, but she did post at the end of December. I completely missed it. I didn't see it. So here is that video. So with the new year approaching, I've been thinking a lot about my resolutions and what I want my 2024 to look like. And so I wrote down my thoughts so that I can share them with all of you. I'm trying to be a better person and own up to my mistakes and be accountable to those that I know and I love. And I've already taken several big steps in the last couple of months. I've learned a lot about addiction and sobriety and what that can do for you physically and psychologically. And that's changed a lot for me. I've also been going through a lot of therapy. I've been learning about boundaries, how to set them and how to respect other people's. I now understand that there are people whose experiences with me were vastly different than the way that I perceived them. And it's really tough to hear that consensual interactions were not comfortable for everyone involved. I never knew that some of these former friends and partners claimed that I hurt them until they posted it online. And as disturbing as it was to hear those stories, it was even more disturbing to watch women who I'd never met before copycat and post horrible videos containing horrible lies about me that I do not need to recount here or defend myself against. Um, if you saw them, you saw them. I'm trying to think about other people's perspectives. I want to be more aware and more caring and I want to listen more. I used to be so wrapped up in my own shit to give it a care for anyone else's and I'm sorry. I feel lucky to be surrounded by beautiful people in a beautiful place and I'm committed to living a life that I can be proud of to share with all of you. I'm committed to being better. So if you're still here, thank you. And if you're not, that's okay too. All I can do is be a better me every day. So wishing you all light and love in your 2024 and happy new years. She's also posted a couple of other videos since then. I will play them for you in case you don't have TikTok or you just haven't seen them. Tell everyone to do a hike. It requires 30 minutes uphill through the jungle. It was my idea, but a horrible one now that I'm looking at it. Forgot I'm out of shape. Forgot it's holiday season. Forgot I've been putting on the pounds. But what a better way to start the new year, you know? Like, it was such an interesting concept. Because of course I intended on waking up this morning early and getting... So I was sitting here meditating the other day, which I don't like to do. I don't like to sit still. I don't like to be alone with my thoughts, but some profound little things came to my brain. And honestly, this is not that profound. Here we go. The difference between those that do and those that don't are those that do. Wow. So what does that mean? I studied Spanish. What's up, baby? So I finally bought a vehicle. What's up, babies? New Year's resolutions are such an interesting concept because of course I intended on waking up this morning early and getting a head start on my day, going for a run and mapping out my vision board. But instead I woke up a little later than I intended and ended up going to do something fun to cheer myself up. I think it's hard to start on the first with everything that you intended for the year. And maybe you did better than I did. Maybe you were up at 5 a.m. and started your 75 hard. And if you did, congratulations. But I decided just to start with the small things like doing 10 push-ups every hour or stretching to start my day. And I may not have had the time to sit down and cut out pictures and make a physical vision board, but I did sit down and journal out all 
my thoughts and feelings. But most importantly, I spent the first day of the year prioritizing having fun. And doing something that, although it might seem crazy to you guys, feels like meditation to me. And for some reason, I thought for sure that after this, I'd be ready to go and conquer the day. But of course I wasn't, because with New Year's Eve comes New Year's Eve parties, which means staying up late and out with your friends. And if yours was anything like mine, it resulted in being incredibly sore because you hiked up a mountain. And so even though my mind wanted to take things as fast as possible, I ended up just going to get some breakfast with some friends. Telling myself over and over again in my mind that it's okay to take things slow and just nourish myself. And now at this point, I was definitely sure I was going to be able to get things going, but I headed over to a friend's house and their bed was just so comfortable that I fell asleep for two hours. And again, I had to remind myself that not every day has to be perfect. We put so much pressure on resolutions and the first day of the year and what it's supposed to mean. But I've learned recently that even if you're just stepping an inch in the right direction, it's still the right direction. And you're doing better than the overwhelming majority that just don't start because they think it's not enough. I've got a few things that I'm committed to for the rest of the year, but I also know that I won't always be perfect. There will be days where I'm too tired to get up and run and there will be days where I miss the sunset. But as long as I'm headed in the right direction, I'm not too worried about it because some days are just for being lazy and spending time with your friends. What's up, baby? So I finally bought a vehicle and completely on my own. My buses I owned with my ex, um, but this, this is 100% mine. My little moped, my little island beater baby that I can take wherever I want, right? Yeah, I've had it for maybe 12 hours, maybe. Um, and in that 12 hours, I've taken it on two journeys. The first of which resulted in me getting on the highway where it's 60 miles an hour and I was almost wrecked by multiple vehicles, fearing for my life, not wearing shoes, not wearing a helmet, the first drive. Had to get it home somehow. Had to get it home somehow. So I digress. Adventure number two. Adventure number two. My first adventure on the North Shore. I was so stoked. I was so hyped. I was even out here doing good deeds. I have homies who are sick. And so I came up here to this side of the island so that I could bring them tea. So I could bring them medicine. So I could bring them some emergency. And I drop off to the first girl. I open up my little seat. I give her all, all the little gifts and things that I can. I'm like, here it is. Here it is. And of course, I put my keys right here. And this just fell and slammed down. Could only open the seat with the keys. You know, I was the seat with the keys and she's sick. She went inside, she went to bed. I'm out here, alone, hollow, waiting. But thankfully I've got some great friends who are on the way to bring me my spare. So uh, can't be left alone with nice things. That's the lesson here. But I mean, really, other than that, she's been pretty silent on TikTok. Her most recent Instagram post is from a week ago. And other than that, I mean, she really hasn't posted a ton since all of this went down. And the first allegation, I shouldn't say it was months ago. I think it was like end of November, beginning of December. And we're only getting into like kind of mid-January here, coming up on mid-January. So I guess this has all kind of happened very close to each other in terms of the situation as a whole. But that is pretty much it. I feel like Sayla is just gonna try to move past the whole incident, the women coming forward with allegations. Now, to address a couple of comments, I do agree that if there was some sort of evidence or an investigation that could potentially help the women who came forward's case, I think that it should be released because, I mean, everyone is innocent until proven guilty. And while we've gotten a little bit of proof, not but like we haven't gotten much unfortunately so i don't know that's just something i saw a lot in my comments and yes i agree that you know some proof would be very helpful but also i feel like survivors in cases like this should be believed i mean you don't want to just not believe them because i think we all know someone who has been at some point in their lives affected by SA and it's very important I think to believe the victims but I also understand wanting proof of you know some sort that would be helpful but I'm not a survivor in this case so I can't really speak a ton on that but that is it for today's video just a short little update and I think this will probably be the last Sayla video that I post unless something more comes from this but as of right now this is where we're at so thank you guys for watching I hope that you have a fantastic rest of your day. I hope it's safe and I hope it is happy. But that is it for me today, so I'll be back with another video. Bye guys!